And people actually amaze me. They study like one day before the exam and still be on the top of the class. And on the other hand, there are people like us, the average students. We study like 10 to 12 hours a day, but still suck at scoring the marks in exam. And then we start telling ourselves that Mujhse nahi hoga yaar. Average student too. But what if I told you that even you can study for like 6 hours instead of 12 hours and double your marks? I know this sounds a bit ridiculous but trust me, you can do that. Because I've done that. I've scored the CGP of 9.8 in class and 98.1% in 12th boards, cracked JE mens and JE advance and during the last 3 semesters at IIT Kharagpur, my SGPA was 9.18, 9.00 and 8.75. And I'm telling you, it's not that difficult. So it doesn't matter if you're in class 10th, class 11th, class 12th or maybe in college. This video is going to be useful for you. Because in this video, I'm going to tell you five study tips that can instantly increase your productivity, that can instantly increase your score and make you become a top. And the third tip out of these five tips is the most important one. So if you're ready, let's get started. So first things first, let's talk about the location. The little space which you use to sit and study. See, creating and using a certain study environment is a really underrated tool to win the battle of exams. I'll tell you a story. So once upon a time when I was preparing for IIT JE, I used to sit in one of the corner benches in the class during the study hours. I sat there for like eight months straight and when I was sitting over there, I was so damn productive. Like I used to have a stopwatch, 60 minutes on it and 60 questions in front of me to solve. And I stretch, open the book, decide the target and boom, no one can disturb me while I was over there. So 60 minutes of pure work. Doesn't matter if your friend is calling, doesn't matter if your girlfriend is fighting with you. You're not Tarun when you're sitting in that place. You're some upgraded version of Tarun who doesn't care about anything else in the world except than solving those 60 questions in 60 minutes. But once the 60 minutes is done, go out, have fun, drink some water, talk to your friends. I mean, chill out, man. Chill out for 10 minutes because you have worked hard for 60 minutes, right? Reward yourself with some break. But once again, once the 10 minutes ka break is done, be back and awaken the beast inside. So now you might ask me, Tarun, what if I want to pee or what if I want to go out, drink some water during those 60 minutes of work? Use your 10 minute breaks to do all this stuff. Like, just don't get out of that, you know, place when you are studying. Got it? The second tip is to study in chunks. Remember in the story which I told you, I was studying for 60 minutes straight, taking 10 minutes break, studying for 60 more minutes and taking 10 more minutes of break. Well, that was intentional. It is always better to study for a while, take a short break, study for some more time, take one more short break, do this three, four times and then take a long break. Because when you're studying for a longer period of time, your brain gets tired, your productivity levels get decreasing. But once you give it a short break, it gets recharged and then you can be on the top, start working again with full productivity. So the famous Pomodoro technique is also based around the same theory. Work for 25 minutes, take a five minutes break. Work for 25 minutes more, take a five minutes break. Do this a couple of times and then take a longer break. But 25 minutes seems a bit less to me. So I usually extend it to an hour. And even you need to experiment because you need to find that optimum time period for you to sit and work, right? So moving on to the next step. So this tip is like really important if you are someone into self-study. And that tip is that studying like a teacher. Now you might be like, like, what do you mean? Study like a teacher? Don't worry because let me explain. So there are two aspects of this. Number one, the first thing is about understanding. So imagine a teacher has to come to the class and teach you, which means when he is studying, he actually needs to understand what the concepts are. He can't just bluff himself that he understands the concepts. But most of the times when we are studying, there are a lot of things that we usually don't understand, but we convince, we, we try to convince ourselves that, huh, I understood this. And then we start moving forward. So the first thing which I have to do is stop doing that. So there's a quote from Albert Einstein, which perfectly sinks in with this. And it goes like this. If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. So whenever you are studying from the next time, close your book and try to explain the things which you are studying to someone else. And if no one else is there, imagine that someone else is there. Just like you imagine things with your imaginary girlfriend. Now the second part of studying like a teacher is to ask questions. And when I say ask question, I don't mean ask question to someone else, ask questions to yourself. And this works the best when you're studying subjects like social studies, inorganic chemistry and all. I mean the subjects or concepts which are like difficult to remember. So from the next time, whenever you are studying these subjects, instead of making the list, instead of making the notes of important points, make a notes of important questions. Write the questions down. And whenever you're free for like five minutes, open the list of questions that you have made and try to answer them. So this is called active recall method. And this is the best strategy to move things from your short term memory to long term memory so that you can remember things for a longer time. Try this out for yourself and trust me, you'll love it. And if you are loving this video, it would be great if you can subscribe to the channel because that would mean a lot to me and to you as well. Because somehow I got to know that you love me. Kidding, let's continue. So the next tip is to set deadlines. See, I love deadlines. Remember in the story which I was telling you that that in 60 minutes, I was solving 60 questions. So as you can see, 60 minutes was like 
my deadline. In that 60 minutes, I have to finish these 60 questions. In fact, if I wouldn't have set deadline of 60 minutes, I would have taken my entire day to solve the same number of questions. And there's a famous saying which goes like this. Work expands with the time available for its completion. That's called the Parkinson's law. So the next time when you're studying, assign the targets and deadlines. Thank me later. Moving on to the next step. So the next step is called Pareto principle. I mean Pareto principle. I'm not sure of the pronunciation, but you get it right. And it states that 80% of the consequences come from 20% of the causes. And you know what? This is the best part about this that it's not just applicable over here but it's applicable over a lot of things take environment take economics or the funnier part take crimes in a city even the crimes in a city 80 percent of crimes are due to 20 percent of the criminals now let's talk about how we the engineering students use this principle to talk in the exams just study before one day and give the exams so to be honest our engineering books are this fat it's no fat but we depend upon notebooks which are this thin and not do all the pages so what we do we just go through all the papers for the fat and then we go to the previous year papers and the practice sheets and see from which concepts the questions are being asked and then go back to the notes read those concepts perfectly or go to a topper friend and get explained and then solve those previous year questions or solve those you know practice sheets whatever you got and then go to the exam rock the paper come back well this is not the perfect alternative to going to the class every day listening to the class making the notes solving you know, practice sheets every single day. But you know what? What if you don't have enough time? What if you have just one day before the exam? Don't worry, my friend, because I got you. Here's the Pareto principle. So these are the five tips that you can use to rock your exam. But you know what? Here comes the best part. So we just had the lunch. What about the dessert? I love desserts. I mean, I love ice creams. What about you? So here, finally, I'm going to answer some of the most frequently asked questions by students. Here we go. Number one, should you wake up at 5 a.m. and study? Um, in usual cases, yeah, studying in the morning helps a lot. But if you're someone like me, I prefer studying in the night. And I actually feel this, ki, you know, studying is a very personal act. The things which work for other people might not work for you. So you just need to experiment with this. Like if you're able to study well in the morning, just stick with it. But if you're not able to study well in the morning, then yeah, be like me. Number two, does studying with friends help or should you study alone? See, this one depends a lot. Like if you are solving questions, then do it alone. But if you are like, you know, kind of studying a difficult chapter or a difficult topic, then studying with friends also helps a lot because you can discuss and, you know, you can make it fun. Number three, does multitasking help while studying? Um, In most cases, no. Multitasking actually sucks. But again, it's your personal choice. According to me, no. But you know, sometimes when I was a kid, I used to solve homework while watching like anime because the homework was like too boring. Anime was interesting. So just combine the both and get it done these are the most frequently asked questions that i usually get and if you got any of these questions if you got any of the doubts go to the comment section below and ask me a question i'll make sure to answer them people are literally imagining that you know after 100k i won't be replying to comments and all but but i do right ask people like kundana and all these people comment on all of my videos and I do reply to them. Also, as you have stayed till the end of this video, here's something important which I need to tell you. The real deal, the real strategy to score well in examinations. See, you can go watch a hundred million videos on how to score well in examinations or how to study, but it doesn't matter until and unless you are sitting there to study. See, what I mean is all these strategies, all these tips do help. They actually help, but they don't help if you don't start studying in the first place, right? So here's what I want you to do right now. I don't care if you're sitting in a sofa. Or I don't care if you're in the bedroom watching this video, lying down on your bed. I don't care if it's 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. I don't care. Just set the stopwatch to 25 minutes. Use all the tips which I gave in this video and work or study for like 25 minutes straight. You might have wanted to finish some homework or you might have wanted to start some work, but you never started it because you have been procrastinating a lot. Or maybe you had some work or study, you wanted to study something which you never started studying. We all do have pending works. So here's what to do. Open your book or open your laptop and get that work done. And before going there, go to the comments and comment started. And when you come back after 25 minutes, comment done Tarun. It's gonna be fun and productive. Let's do this. Let's go boys and girls. You working productively is more important to me than you subscribing to this channel. So let's go. Your time starts now. I'll see you later. Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie, I can truly be